everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. As promised, I'm going to be showing you today everything that I ordered for my baby and some stuff for myself. So when this whole quarantine situation started and I decided to stay at home and then stores closed, I just wanted to get through as many things as I could off of my baby list. I did lots and lots of research. That has been the best part about kind of being at home is I got to really take my time, read reviews, ask friends, ask around for advice and kind of figure out what I thought I would really need and just try to get it all. <laughs> all right, before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when my next video is out. And I think we're gonna get started over here with everything that's behind me inside of this crib. So let's take a look. All right, so the crib itself I ordered online through Wayfair as well as the mattress. Then I got this crib mattress protector off of Amazon as well as a crib skirt. So it's actually a really basic crib skirt. It's just plain white. I believe it was like around $25. I actually have not opened it up yet. So it just has this very plain white bottom. And I got white just so that it will go with any kind of covering that I'm gonna put on the mattress. So I got these two fitted crib sheet covers and they're both from Burt's Bees and they're just the sweetest pattern. So there's a pink and white stripe. And the other one is this beautiful cherry blossom pattern. I think this one is my favorite. Then I also ordered this blanket by Burt's Bees. I'm actually just gonna open it up. And the reviews said that it was just super, super soft and that it just only gets softer as you wash it over time. And what I like about this blanket is that it's double-sided. So there's this kind of like watercolor floral pattern on one side and then this um, in like a marigold and white color on this side. So. I like when things are versatile and you can switch things up easily. Next, I ordered a couple of these receiving blankets by Cushies. These were actually purchased from West Coast Kids. And then I realized that I'm gonna need a lot more receiving blankets. So I just got this whole flannel set from Amazon and it's the Simple Joys line by Carter. So they were quite inexpensive. And I think I could also kind of use them as burp cloths as well. And then because my baby is gonna be born in the summertime, I wanted to get some muslin receiving blankets or swaddles. So I got this set of four here. Oh, they feel really nice. So they just have like really cute little patterns on them and they feel really nice and breathable. They'll be perfect for the summertime. And then I also got this on the recommendation of a friend. So this is a little sound machine and I love that it's super, super tiny and it's portable. And the last thing that I got in terms of like this bedding area here is the crib mobile. And this is the only thing so far that I have received damaged, unfortunately. So it kind of just snapped in half, but basically the idea is, is this part goes like that, and then there's another one that'll go that way. So they crisscross on top, but I'll just show you how cute these are. So they're tiny little ice cream cones with sprinkles, which is so perfect. It goes so nicely in the room. So what I think I'm gonna have to do with this, I think just a little bit of wood glue will kind of piece this all back together and that'll be ready for the big nursery reveal. But I am still so happy with how this looks and feels and it was really, really cheap, which is partially maybe why the wood broke so easily, but uh, not a big deal. So the next set of stuff that I'm gonna show you is a whole bunch of bibs. Everyone told me that you cannot have in too many bibs, so I got a whole bunch. So this set was from Amazon and they feel very absorbent, so I'm pretty happy with those. Then I got this little set of two or three. There are three in here, so just a different kind of style of bib. I think these are more suitable for a small baby, so we'll kind of use these right away. Then I also got off of Amazon these little um, handkerchief kind of style bibs, and they also feel super absorbent. So as you can see, I just got a whole range of colors here. And lastly, I got these bibs that were recommended on 
Amazon. So they have this little kind of ridge along the neckline. And the idea is, is that it will catch the milk if it ever runs down the baby's neck, which I heard can happen quite often. So I got a set of pink ones as well as this creamy kind of yellow color. So I think these will come in handy for nursing. And then to match actually that first set of bibs that I showed you, I got this set of burp cloths. These are my only burp cloths, so I kind of feel like I don't have enough, but we'll see what happens. And it's actually in the exact same patterns that those first set of bibs were. So really cute, fun, and summery. And then I decided to go with some cloth diapers. So we did get a whole bunch of diapers for newborns and to last us for, I'd say like maybe three months. And then, so whenever we run out of those, I do have the intention of switching to cloth diapers. I just think it's so much better for not only the environment, but it's a lot more affordable. And I've been following a lot of moms on Instagram that just swear by the cloth diapers and they show kind of what it takes to use them. And I know it's a little bit more work, but I think it's just so worth it. And um, if you get enough of them, it's actually not too, too inconvenient, I hope, but I think in the long run, it's going to really pay off. So let me show you what they look like. Each bundle came with six diapers and they each kind of come with these inserts. So you get the diaper little package like this and then when you open it up, there are three of these bamboo, oh no, sorry, there's two of these really thick and really nice feeling bamboo inserts. And this is what's going to get changed out and hopefully this doesn't get too dirty, but we'll see. And then I'll just show you guys the diaper and it's actually really nice and soft on the inside. And what I love about these diapers is that it has all of these snaps, if you can see, so you can really actually fit this properly to your baby and they also grow with the baby. So this is just such a great idea. And so I actually got a whole another set of them so that I would have a set of 12 and then that's 24 of those inserts. So I'm hoping that's enough to kind of keep on rotation. But again, this is kind of all trial and error for me. So wish me luck. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of move around the room here. So the next kind of category is bathing. I got this Fisher Price bathtub and it's got one of those sling inserts. And again, it's supposed to grow with baby. As well, I got these little washcloths. And lastly, this is another suggestion from a friend of mine who just swears by it. Her little girl loves to swim in the bathtub and she uses this little um, flotation device around the baby's head. And so I purchased this from West Coast Kids and I'm really excited to use this for our little girl. All right, the next category is everything nursing. I ordered this boppy nursing pillow. I heard a lot about nursing pillows and how convenient they are. This one feels amazing and this is a cover for it so you can get other patterns and these are removable covers they remove with a zipper and you can just throw them in the wash so I got um, this cover as well as this leaf print which ooh, it's really soft so it's actually a different kind of material than the other one next I got these little nursing pads and they are made from bamboo and I got quite a few of them and you can kind of pick and choose the sizes that you want to get as well as the styles I don't remember the size of these ones that I got but there is a whole bunch here so those are hopefully going to be really absorbent and um, handy to have for leaks. Along with that kind of topic, um, I got these two different creams to try. So this one I hear a lot of people swear by. I think it's um, pronounced Lansino. So I'm gonna try this one and I just wanted to get a different type just to see. I've heard a lot of good things about the Earth Mama Organics line. So I got also the nipple butter by this brand as well to try. So we'll see which one I kind of like better. All right, so this might be a little controversial, 
but I actually decided to purchase a manual breast pump. I don't know if this is really naive of me, but I have heard other moms use a manual breast pump and it wasn't any big deal. I don't know, I just was a little nervous to be honest because breast pumps are quite expensive and I just felt like I don't know enough about this to just go out and purchase one. So I just kind of went with this safe choice and I actually first had purchased this big kit of bottles and so then when I saw that they had a matching kind of part of the set breast pump I just went with this brand and my intention is going to be to hopefully be able to exclusively breastfeed but obviously I know that pumps are really handy in keeping up supply as well as just having like a reserve of breast milk in the freezer and you never know when you're gonna have to mix up a bottle of formula to supplement and I just needed to have these things just in case. So I got these and I don't know how they're gonna be but they did get great reviews on Amazon so fingers crossed. And I also got this silicone breast pump. It's called the Haka and I kind of just got it because I follow Jillian Harris and she was raving about this. It's not expensive at all. I believe it was like around $20, $25 and I ordered it off of the West Coast Kids website and it's basically a thing that you just suction right onto your breast. Jillian Harris said that when she was using it while she was nursing her baby, she'd have this on the other breast and it would kind of collect the other other milk or I'm not sure how this all works I will find out but I just yeah I kind of got it just because she talked so much about it and uh, yeah we'll see um, hopefully it comes in handy and the last thing that I got also from Amazon and also from that brand Lansino are these breast milk storage bags so I got four packages and there's 50 in each. And what I like about these bags is there's a place to kind of write down the date. So that is all the stuff for nursing that I will hopefully need. And this is the stroller that I ended up choosing. So this is the Maxi Cozy Adora stroller and it configures into a pram as it is now. And then it's perfect for a toddler and it switches um, to face the front or face me. So I thought it was just really, really convenient and I love the design. I love this sand color that it came with. And this was gifted to me by my mom and I just ordered it off of the West Coast Kids website. And then here is the car seat that will fit onto the stroller. And it's not too, too heavy. The base is attached right now, so it's a little bit heavier. Um, but I just wanted something that'll attach to the stroller, super convenient, so I'm really excited to use these. Next, I'm gonna show you the toys and books that I ordered. I did not order a whole bunch of toys and books, to be honest. I just felt like I needed to kind of stick with the essentials first and that these are kind of like add-ons. Now I'm kind of realizing I might not have too many of these things. I ordered this really cute rattle from West Coast Kids and it is adorable. It's like a little uh, dog and it's really, really soft and sounds cute. <laughs> and then I also ordered this little thing to attach to the stroller handle or any kind of area where she's sitting and needs something to play with. It's really cute because it's a cloud that it's awake and then sleeping. It's got this thing that sounds all crinkly. This thing squeaks. And then when you pull this, the whole thing vibrates and shakes. So that's really, really cute. Then on Amazon, this was just like one of these add-on things. I think it was like six or five dollars or something. It's just like a little wooden thing that you pull with a string. And I really wanted to stick with just like buying wooden toys, not a whole bunch of plastic. So I got this box of wooden blocks. So this is obviously once she's older, you can actually build like this entire town. So what I loved about these blocks was the colors, to be honest. They're all in these like really kind of pretty neutrally colors. I really wanted it to like fit with the colors in the theme of the nursery. I don't know if that sounds insane. And the blocks themselves feel like really nice quality. It's a little tree and it comes with a few of these like little cars. Each side kind of has something on it, whether it's letters or part of the like little town that it builds. 
I really like that it came in this box as well for storage. And it also comes with this like puzzle piece of the um, like bottom. So you can actually build your little town on top of this puzzle. Then I got this little music set. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, like these little maracas. And then just all of these like wooden toys and sound makers, as well as a little harmonica. And then I just got these three little baby books because I actually have quite a few childhood books from my day. So we've got Dr. Seuss, Hello Baby Faces, and the little baby animals that have all like the little materials inside. And I got all of these off of Amazon. Then in terms of just like some small accessories, I got this little silicone bib from West Coast Kids in such a cute color as well as these little newborn Nano Baby Flexi Pacifiers. And then this stuff I got from this really cute shop called Ryan and Rose. So we have a little teething rattle here, this little pacifier with these cute little clips so you can attach them to either what the baby is wearing or onto uh, where they're sitting or whatever. And then I got these just because they're so adorable. A little set of spoons and these little easy to use forks. Then I needed a nightlight. So I went for this um, moon nightlight. This was what it looks like and comes with a little charger. And I'm not sure what that's for, um, but yeah, it's exactly what I was looking for. And this is the chain Changing station, and so this is the changing pad that I went with. It is from West Coast Kids as well. It feels really nice. So I got a couple of change pad covers just from Amazon, and they've got these like um, little bumps on them, which I just thought was kind of cute. I ordered from Amazon a whole bunch of these Oliva bamboo baby wipes. So these will definitely come in handy, as well as for the change pad, these waterproof um, pads. You actually put this down over the cover when you're going to change your baby. And the rest of the stuff here is just kind of like some toiletries, so we've got one of these, I believe it's an nasal aspirator, I think that's what it's called. Then I got this little toothbrush. I know this is already <laughs> kind of looking into the future and it's just got this kind of little spiral head to it. And then I got the Tom's strawberry uh, toothpaste, some Think Baby sunscreen, some moisturizer by Aliva, as well as this hair and body wash by Aliva. And then I follow someone on Instagram that highly recommended this baby balm and it's all natural. So I got three of those and then a little baby sized manicure kit. I also got this baby Bjorn little rocker and I think it's gonna be super, super handy. As well, I got this gorgeous bassinet with a Jolly Jumper stand and I bought these both off of Amazon. And I went with this eyelet fabric, which is perfect for summertime. And I actually don't know that I'm going to be having the baby next to me in my bedroom, but um, I'm really excited about this bassinet. I think it's super beautiful and um, portable and really light. So I love that. It can be moved around super easily. And last kind of piece of equipment that I got was a baby carrier. I might still get a soft one, but for now I've got this one here. And uh, I have to say the color is quite perfect. And it did get great reviews on Amazon. So it has one of these little like seats that the baby can sit on comfortably. And it's got this little like head cover thing at the top. So I can't really put it on at the moment with my big belly, but um, it looks really well made. So I'm really hoping that it is comfortable and it's gonna be really nice to be able to kind of do things around the house hands-free. Okay, so the last category that I'm gonna show you of stuff that I got was the clothes. All right, the first thing I'm going to show you guys are some onesie sleepers that I got off of Bye Bye Baby Canada. And they're by the brand Touched by Nature. They feel really nice. So I got this set with three different patterns. So this one, stripes, and this one, as well as this 
set here. That one with the little poppies and another striped one underneath. So these are so sweet and I know babies live in their onesies, so very, very convenient. And then I bought by the brand Parade a bunch of these sleeping gowns and they come in the most beautiful colors and patterns. So the first one is this beautiful cloud design. Then I got this, um, I think they called this color toast which it's kind of like this burnt orangey apricot color. And then I got it in this nice uh, muted pink. And the ends are just open, so super easy to change baby um, while they're sleeping, as well as it's got the little mitts to protect their hands from their face. Then I ordered um, off of Amazon. So I got this actually the Amazon brand or line of clothing. So I just got these tiny little pants. It's a set of four, so you get them in all these different colors. So these I got in the zero to three months and uh, they're really tiny. So I'm really hoping my baby is not too, too big and will actually make some use out of these before she grows too fast. And then I also got this little set from Amazon, but it is again by that Simple Joys by Carter's brand. And it's just these little long sleeve onesies. So there's a set of five and they come in some really cute patterns. And lastly from Amazon, I again ordered from the Burt's Bees baby line, the same uh, little long sleeved onesies, but a little bit bigger size, which actually they're not that much bigger, but uh, super cute. And then there's a striped one as well. These feel really, really soft. Okay, my final little haul is actually from Old Navy. Uh, really good prices. So I got two sets of these little um, matching jogging kind of outfits. So there's a little cardigan and they're really, really soft. And they've got the matching pants. So I got the same one in this cream color, as well as, I don't know if other people do this, but I'm already thinking to when she's like a one year old. <laughs> so when she's one, it'll be summer. So I got her a cute little bathing suit, her first bathing suit. So this is the back with the ruffle, which I thought was so, so sweet. And then I actually have not gotten any shoes for my baby. I have heard kind of a lot of people say that shoes for babies or kind of from zero to six months or from whenever they start walking is kind of a waste. So I didn't get any, but then I kind of um, panic bought some shoes here, but these are for when she's older. So she's got some jelly sandals to go along with her little new swimsuit, which I thought were just like the cutest things. Then we've got these little casual sneakers in a nice tie-dye pattern. And last but not least, these little ballerina slippers with the little Velcro little hearts on them. All right, that is a wrap on everything that I ordered on Amazon and other stores online. If you enjoyed watching, be sure to give the video a like as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Ring the notification bell so that you'll know when my next video is out. Thank you so much for watching guys and hanging out with me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.